Honey is very tasty. It is a sweet viscous substance that is used in lots of breakfast meals. Honey gets its sweetness from monosaccharides, the simplest form of carbohydrates or simply simple sugar. Here is a list of the sugar content of honey. Microorganisms cannot grow in honey, so honey almost never spoils and can last thousands of years. But have you ever wondered how this tasty honey is made by hardworking bees? 100 grams of honey gives us around 304 calories. It is the only food product that contains spinosemrin, a flavonoid that improves brain functioning. Earliest records of cultivating bees for honey production dates back to at least 10,000 years. Various cave paintings in Spain, in Cuba de la Aran, or however that is pronounced, show humans collecting honey as early as 8,000 years ago. This rock painting in a cave in Valencia, Spain, shows two foragers collecting honey. The word honey comes from the old English word honey. Okay, we are not about history here. We are looking for the term science. Yes? Okay. Is honey an acid or base? It is acidic in nature. One of the most important steps in commercial honey production is to choose the right bees. Yes, bees are of course important for delicious sweet honey production. The most common bee used in commercial honey production is Apis mellifera or commonly known as the western honey bee. Bees make honey by living in colonies and working in bee hives. The most common bee hives used are made of bees wax. Great, what a coincidence. They are hexagonal prismatic cells. Bees use these beehives for the maintenance of their colonies and young ones, also called as brood, and for storing some delicious honey. They are also useful for pollination of nearby crops. After bees are chosen and everything ready, the next step is to start. This practice of bee maintenance is also called as apiculture. A beehive houses around 30 to 50,000 individuals. We can even classify these colonies as weak or strong depending on their population. An interesting thing to note is that beekeepers, the humans who work, will only take care of the bees whose name starts from the genus Apis. It's not because they like this name or hate other names of bees, it is because the bees of the genus Apis only produce honey. There are main three types of bees in a colony. These are the queen bee, the drone and the worker bees. Let's start. The worker bee finds a flower and sucks nectar, a sugary liquid from a long tube-shaped tongue also known as the proboscis of the bee. The proboscis is a very common part in insects used for sucking blood or honey in insects like mosquitoes and bees. Bees store their sug nectar in an extra stomach or the honey stomach or the proventriculus. This is a pre-digestive part which honeybees use to bring water and nectar to their hive. Honeybees gather nectar from 2 million flowers to make just a pound of honey or 453.5 grams. For that, it flies around 90,000 miles or 144,840 kilometers or thrice the globe. Bees release salivary enzymes which raises the water content of the nectar slightly. Raw nectar of flowers is not like honey. Bees do a lot of hard work to make honey for themselves and us. The worker bees then return back to their hives and pass the nectar to other bees by a process called regurgitation. In this process, the organism brings back the swallowed and undigested food back to the mouth to complete the process of digestion. This is the same thing cows and goats do because they are not able to digest the food they have eaten. Ok, back to our honeybees. The collected nectar is regurgitated back to another bee and another bee till it gets deposited in the honeycomb. This process is called as trophallaxis. But the nectar is still very viscous and sticky. Then the bees start fanning the nectar by their wings at a very, very high speed, around 11,400 times per second. Which is incredibly fast to speed up the process of evaporation and remove the excess water present in the nectar so that we get thick, tasty honey. So bees are smart. Then the bees seal the comb with an excretion of liquid from its abdomen, which eventually hardens into bees' wax or their scientific term, Sera alba. This natural wax is mainly composed of esters of fatty acids and long chains of alcohols. Naturally, one beehive produces around 29 kilograms of honey each year. Okay, so the honey is produced, but how do we extract and filter it so that it reaches our breakfast table? 
The extraction of honey is mostly done by using a bee smoker. Moses Kinby, an American beekeeper, invented the bee smoker. The main working of this device is to calm down bees if they get aggressive to their predators, like us. This is done by smoldering various fuels, hence we get the name, bee smoker, for producing smoke. How these bees get calm is not yet fully understood. Bee smokers alarm pheromones, the chemicals which trigger a social response in the same species. These pheromones include chemicals like isopentyl acetate which are released when a bee is injured due to the inspection of a beekeeper. While the smoke alarm is on, the beekeepers, remember that these are the humans we are talking about now, not the worker bees, get the opportunity to work and take out the honey while the bee colony is busy because its defensive response is interrupted. We quietly sneak in and take out the honey. The honey is extracted either by crushing or using a honey extractor. These extractors work using the centrifugal force. A container holds a frame basket which spins rapidly and flings the honey out without even damaging the honeycomb. Now that we have extracted the honey, it's time to filter it. Honey is filtered to remove debris and beeswax and remain liquid for a longer period of time. Honeybees suppress the growth of bacteria. When they regurgitate, which is not vomit, they mix the nectar with an enzyme called glucose oxidase. This creates two byproducts, gluconic acid and hydrogen peroxide. This helps in suppressing bacterial growth. Sometimes, honey is also adulterated by adding other sugars, syrups and compounds to change its flavor, viscosity, cost and for many other purposes. Then it is packed and sent to the grocery store and then directly into our meals. Today, China leads the world in global commercial honey production with 24% of the whole world production that is 446,900 tons of honey a year, followed by Turkey and Iran. So, remember how that mouth-watering honey reaches your table and buzz all the way. We hope you enjoyed this sign here. We will be back and we will stop learning. Thanks.